I set myself the goal of being able to speak more openly uh, and more publicly about living with HIV. It was a long journey getting there. So after I'd received counselling and support from the Terence Higgins Trust, I decided I want to give back. So in 2018, I applied for a volunteer role on the helpline THT Direct um, and I got the training and I started taking phone calls from people and sort of uh, answering their questions and helping with their anxieties and uh, you know people living with HIV who had like real problems that we could help them with. Many years ago um, I was diagnosed 1987 and I resisted for a long long time uh, taking medication but with the guidance from my doctor I knew that I would probably need to do this at some point so that became a kind of indirect goal. I needed some talk therapy to um, overcome my reluctance to do this but I'm really pleased that A that therapy was provided, B that I did it and what it led to is, is my beginning medication in 2011 which is one of the best decisions I ever made. Understandably coming from a military background setting goals and targets is something that I do day to day at work. I decided that I'd have one simple goal. Because I felt alone and isolated, I wanted to speak out to make one person not feel so alone and isolated. And I knew I did that when one person came forward and said, actually, I'm also living with HIV in the military. I decided I wanted to become a Positive Voices volunteer and share my story more widely. But I knew I wasn't quite there yet in terms of just being able to have the confidence to do that. So I worked on the helpline for, for a while and that process of speaking to people, particularly people living with HIV who um, you know, were in a difficult place and I was able to share a bit of my experience of what that was like and, and how I started to overcome some of those issues. And that helped me to kind of build up to a place where I, could, I felt like I was ready to do the training and, and become a speaker. Another goal that I've had, I've always been interested in the arts, and I have in the past done bits of performing in my life, but now as I'm getting older, I realize I may have less time on earth and I want to maximize the pleasure and learning that I derive from being alive. And so now I'm part of a community dance group. I am the token male, or as I like to say, honorary lady in Posh Club Dance Club. I've been doing that since 2018. And I just keep my eyes and ears and mind open to opportunities and also tend to go toward the things that scare me a little. Risk, taking risks can be a very useful way of finding fulfillment and purpose and daring yourself to do the thing that you're a bit anxious about. As I moved forward and did more and more and started challenging um, policies on a larger scale, I want to make a difference for one person. Be that one person being able to be fully deployable in the military or one person being able to join the military. And it sounds almost insignificant to say just one person. Well, no, because the impact of what I did by achieving that goal was potentially help thousands of people that I'll never actually know.